the big game that happens on Saturday is India versus South Africa. And this just feels like such a relief, Zach, to see India there because there were so many, so many nerves. Just the the weight on the shoulder for Indian fans. You know how emotional Indian fans can be. So it just feels so good to see India there, and of course South Africa and their history that they have with semi-finals. So it's just good to see both South Africa and India there. And like Michael said, the two deserving teams. Yeah, it makes a perfect setting, isn't it? Uh, one, uh, the winner this time is uh, is is going to be undefeated mm-hmm. through and through in their journey. Yeah. Uh, which 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 makes uh, makes a perfect setting for the finals. Uh, both these teams uh, have been uh, consistent in finding ways uh, to win uh, win matches <laughs> right throughout the tournament. Uh, both these teams, when you're looking at uh, on on paper, uh, they're very very strong teams. Uh, India may be having that edge, uh, having that experience. Uh, South Africa will be feeling that uh, pressure at some stage in the game, no matter what, mm-hmm. uh, because this is their first finals. Yes. Uh, you know, so so that uh, that pressure is always going to be there. But for for India, uh, it's it's something which uh, which they've just seen in uh, in the 50 over World Cup. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you look at most of the guys uh, from uh, that team, is also here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so that is going to be an advantage because you know what to expect. Uh, how to uh, hold your nerves? Uh, what happens in uh, in big stages like this? And and Rohit is, is someone uh, who's looking very determined. Things are falling into mm-hmm. place. All the boxes have been ticked nicely. Mm-hmm. So it's just about having uh, one really good day uh, for uh, everything, whatever yes. you you've been doing, the processes to hard work to sacrifices <laughs> uh, to to come together and uh, and and win the game. Well, Michael Barbados uh, will be a much uh, more batting-friendly pitch, one would assume. Do you see any changes or why change anything on the big day? (laughs) There'll be no changes. Yeah. Both teams will go the same again, Uh, both playing good cricket. Uh, I just can't see how India change. I mean, they've got everything covered, they've got the seam options. Uh, They've played in Barbados Barbados recently, they know that it's a a decent batting surface, but it also takes a bit of spin. Uh, There was a bit of reverse swing there as well. Um, Yeah, India won't be making any changes. Well, Zach, for South Africa, we saw this morning uh, the pace attack really ran through Afghanistan and uh, Riza Hendricks, uh, the big uh, uh, person in contention, also came out and got those 29 runs. So, South Africa obviously going in with the confidence. Uh, What can we expect from them? Well, I uh, hope that they don't choke. <laughs> That's what you can, <laughs> you can expect from them. Like first finals, you know. Now India is there in the finals, so you got to hope that that you know that that continues <laughs> and that pressure of the finals, they they feel it. But other than that, on paper, this team is looking like mm-hmm. a solid team. It's going to be a great game. There is no doubt about that. Uh, you see that batting lineup: uh, Quinton de Kock, Riza, Hendrik, Markram, the power of Stubbs, Klassen, and Miller. Uh, you know, anyone having a, a good day is is going to give you trouble uh, for for your bowling lineup. Uh, similarly, with the bowling side of South Africa, mm-hmm. you know you have Rabada, you have Marco Janssen, you have uh, Andrik Nokia, and the the spin attack which yes. is balanced. So the bowling attack is also looking balanced. I think it's going to be a great contest. Yeah, and just on South Africa's ban, if you actually look at the batting lineup and I've, you know talk about England's players not being up, having the, the skill sets to really hit the Indian attack, if you look at South Africa, you've got Aidan Markram. Successful. Well, Quinton de Kock's had success in the IPL. Uh, Aidan Markram has, um, Miller has, Stubbs has, Klassen has. So all that engine room is bat- of batters for South Africa, they've all had success against the Indian bowlers in the IPL. Mm-hmm. So they should go into that game with confidence. I think they will. I, I don't think they'll put in a show like we've just seen from England. I think uh, South Africa will make it very difficult for India. All right. So your players to watch out for for the big game then. I think for South Africa is going to be Klassen because the battle is going to be and, and the matchup is going mm-hmm. to be the spin, isn't it? Like how uh, all these three spinners go on about uh, bowling in that middle phase and how South Africa deals with that kind of a threat in that middle over. So Klassen for for South Africa and for Indian team, uh, let's go with Virat Kohli. Oh, you're going Virat? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go Stubbs. Mm-hmm. I love the way he's played over the last few months. So I'm going to go Tristan Stubbs and for India, I'm going to go the skipper. He's in tremendous form. Great form, yes. And if he, if he wins again, he won the power play. If he wins mm-hmm. the power play on Saturday, I think uh, India will win the game. <laughs>